boys and girls, we're going to be creating a color wheel with some delicious donuts. And we're going to be doing um, some simple shapes, uh, like circles, to make our donuts. And then we're going to be using the colors of the color wheel in rainbow order. So I have a color wheel. And we can see the rainbow order up here goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So those are the colors that we're gonna be using for our donuts today. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and take out your art supplies. And what I did was I just only took out red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple um, supplies so that I don't accidentally make a mistake and add in any other colors. Um, you can use any art supplies you have at home. All you need is a pencil and crayons. Um, if you want to use markers or if you have something else that you want to use, that's totally fine. You could use pastels, watercolors, um, pretty much anything that you want to create with. And if you have a black pen or Sharpie, you can use that for outlining. Um, you could also use a black twistable. Um, so I would start out by drawing with pencil and then go over it with black Sharpie or crayon. Um, but I'm going to just show you one like that and then I'm going to do it in Sharpie so that it's easier to see. So you can have uh, just a white piece of drawing paper, um, normal size, or I want to make mine long and skinny. So all I'm going to do is fold it in half the hot dog way. So I'm going to bring my edge over to the other side and I'm just going to give it a nice crease. Okay, it works the best if you do this on a table. Um, you do not have to do this. I just wanted mine to be kind of long and skinny. Um, this is also going to make my paper a little bit thicker so that if I'm using my Sharpie, it's not going to go through onto anything else. And I just want to draw six circles for my donuts. So I would start out with a pencil and just draw a circle. It does not have to be perfect if we think about donuts. Uh, most of them are probably not perfect shapes. And then I'm going to draw another circle inside it for the donut hole. Okay, I'm going to do the rest with Sharpie. I'm going to go over this so it's easier to see. So if you do them all in pencil, after you do that, you're going to go around it with Sharpie over any of your pencil lines. All right, so I've got one. Okay, and they can go in a straight line. Some of them can be bigger. Some of them can be smaller. Um, but I want to do six circles with a circle inside. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, once I do that, I'm going to add um, some like frosting or glaze so that I can do my rainbow colors on them. Um, so I'm just going to do kind of like a wavy or squiggly line around each. Okay, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look like mine. Um, they can all look different. Okay, so I'm just making my squiggly line. It's kind of like whatever happens when I put my marker onto paper. Okay. Then I'm gonna start to add my rainbow colors. Um, you can also add like sprinkles or um, some kind of fun decorations on it if you want. So I'm gonna add some little ovals for sprinkle shapes on some. Maybe I'm gonna do some little squares almost to look more like um, like sugar. Okay, maybe on this one I want to do some bigger kind of circles or like little polka dots or round kind of hard candies. Okay, and you can be creative and use your imagination. Um, they do not have to, you know, be real ingredients. You could have imaginary um, decorations on your donuts like snakes or unicorns or um, 
you know, pieces of Lego or something fun. Okay, so I've got my donuts drawn. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to color in my frosting or icing in rainbow order. Okay. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit and then I'll kind of speed it up and show you the end. So I'm gonna do red. Okay, and this one I'm gonna do orange. Okay, and sometimes it works good if you kind of outline or go around the inside and the outside of the shape. And then you can kind of color in quickly. So that's gonna give you like a border so you don't go outside of the lines. Okay, next color in the rainbow is yellow. Okay, and if you wanna use markers and um, your crayons or twistables or colored pencils. You could always outline with marker. Okay, and then maybe color inside it with your twistable. So red, orange, yellow. Next is green. Okay, and I will pause or I will put the color wheel up in the video. So if you want to pause the video to look at the color wheel, um, you can. So red, orange, yellow, green. Next is blue. Okay, and then the last one is purple. Guys and girls, after you have all of your rainbow order done, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, then you want to color in your donut. So I kind of already started. I did some peach. Okay, I'm going to finish this one up. And I only want to color around the outside part of the frosting. That inside circle is our donut hole, so you can just leave that blank, like the white of the paper. Okay, and then I also did some with a brown to make more of like a chocolate kind of donut. Okay, so if you have other ideas um, or favorite flavors of donuts, you can use whatever color makes sense to you. Um, the most important part is that you have the rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple with your frosting or glaze, okay, sprinkles or decorations. Okay, and then just another idea, if you are um, having a hard time drawing circles, you can always grab like a cap from milk or, um, you know, a lid from something that's small to trace your donuts. Um, if you wanted to do bigger ones and you have larger paper, you can do that too. Um, so have fun. Um, again, we want to have our rainbow order. And here is the color wheel. Um, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. If you want to see that again for your donut flavors, um, feel free to pause the video um, if you need to check out the color wheel, or you can also pause it on my finished picture of donuts. Have an awesome rest of your day.